Assalamu alaikum dear educarians. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well and taking good care of yourself. This is going to be your fourth lesson and in this lesson we will discuss unit number 4. Dear students, in our previous lesson we have studied about food chain, food web and adaptation. Now we are going to start our next lesson. So let's move. So the material required for this lesson is lead pencil, eraser, ruler, highlighter along with your textbook miracles of science and science notebook and today you will also need your winter pack that has been provided by the educators. Dear students, I hope you have collected that all these things and you are ready for this lesson. So dear students, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain adaptations in animals and explain animals that live in cold places. Dear students, please open your science book and come to page number 49. Write today's task, day and date at the top of the page. Animals have special body parts to find food. The beak of a hummingbird is adapted for taking nectar from deep inside a flower. A pelican has a large beak with a pouch to store fish. Animals ke special body parts hote hain jo food ko find karte hain. Hummingbird apni beak ko flower ke andar dal ke nectar nikalta hai. Pelican ke paas beak aur pouch hota hai jis mein fish store karta hai. A mosquito's mouth is shaped like a needle to stab the stem of a plant or the skin of an animal. Mosquitoes ke mouth ki shape needle jaisi hoti hai jis se wo plants aur animals par war karta hai. Animals that live in very cold places. Animals that live in very cold places like polar bears and seals have thick fur on their bodies. They have a thick layer of fat under their skins which also keeps them warm. Animals jo cold areas mein rehte hain, unke body par thick fur hoti hai, unki skin ke niche thick fat layer hoti hai jo unko garam rakhti hai. Jaise ke polar bears and seals. A tiger has strong legs to run after other animals. It uses its strong claws and teeth to catch and eat other animals. The giant anteater uses its strong claws to open the nest of ants and termites. Its long sticky tongue picks up the insects it eats. Tiger ki strong legs hoti hain jisse wo dusre animals ke piche bhaagta hai. Iske strong claws aur teeth hoti hain jisse wo dusre animals ko pakarta aur khata hai. Dear students, aapko pata hai ki giant and teeter kya hai? Giant and teeter wo animal hai jo apne claws se ants aur termites ke nest ko kholta hai. Iski tongue long hoti hai, sticky hoti hai. Jis se wo insects ko pakad kar khata hai. Dear students, please open your winter pack and come to page number 9. Here is a worksheet for you. Topic, unit number 4, living things and their environment. Dear students, write down your name, section and date. Dear students, after the completion of this worksheet, paste it on your science notebook. Question number 1. Fill in the blanks. First is an echidna has sharp needles. Second, a fish swims in water with its fins and tail. Third, bees and ants have poisonous stings. Fourth, animals and humans cannot make their own food. Fifth, Green plants are called 
producers. Sixth, energy flow forms a food chain. Seventh, some plants have a sticky juice. Eighth, a tortoise hides in its hard shell. Ninth, a bird has wings to fly. And the last is, a deer has horns for fighting. Question number 2. Encircle T for true and F for false statement. First one is, different food chains are separate from each other. The answer is false. A tiger has sharp claws and teeth for tearing flesh. The answer is true. Animals have special body parts to find food. The answer is true. A mosquito has strong legs to run after other animals. The answer is false. And the last is, a pelican has a large beak with a pouch to store fish. And the answer is true. Question number 3. What are herbivores? Animals eat only plants and have special teeth which help them to chew leaves are called herbivores. Question number 4. What are adaptations? The special body parts that a plant or animal develops to adapt to a particular place or living condition are called adaptations. Dear students, after the completion of this worksheet, paste it on your science notebook. So dear students, I hope that you understood each and every point of this lesson. So here is a short assessment for you so that you can assess yourself. So let's see what we have in here. First one is dash have special body parts to find food. Second is animals that live in very cold places like dash and dash have thick fur on their bodies. And the last is a dash has a large beak with a pouch to store fish. Dear students, try and write down the answers of each one of them within 5 minutes. So dear students, now, this is time for task to do. So, what you have to do is learn worksheet number 1. Learn highlighted points of page number 49. Quick review of today's lesson. Dear students, we have studied adaptations in animals. Animals that live in very cold places in our today's lesson. So, dear students, after each lesson, we have some fun facts for you, which will enhance your knowledge. So, today's fun fact is, mosquitoes fly an estimated 1 to 1.5 miles per hour. Dear students, I hope this fun fact will add to your knowledge. Physical Fitness Benefits of Physical Fitness Understanding the benefits of physical fitness and knowing how active you should be can help you maintain good health and improve your overall quality of life. Dear students, here are a few benefits of regular physical activity that shows the importance of physical fitness. Reduce your risk of injury. Regular exercise and physical activity increase muscle strength, bone density, flexibility and stability. Stay active. Staying active and healthy allows you to do activities that require a certain level of physical fitness. Improve your health. There are numerous health advantages to physical fitness. Regular exercise and physical activity promotes strong muscles and bones. It improves respiratory and overall health. 
staying active can also help you maintain a healthy weight reduce your risk for heart disease and reduce your risk for some cancers so dear students i'll see you in my next lesson till then take care and allah hafiz